In a News 12 exclusive, a Bridgeport mom whose nine year old son died in 2008 after struggling with cerebral palsy, mounting an effort to help other parents whose kids have special needs, as Frank Recchia reports. I miss him a lot. There's not a minute go by that I don't think about him. Isabel Richardson of Bridgeport is talking about her nine year old son, AJ, who had cerebral palsy and passed away in 2008 after a battle with cancer. Wow, that was my everything. He was my handsome. He kept, he smiled every day. He made every day of my life right. This is all the kids from his school. Soon after AJ's death, Isabel establishing the organization Aaron's Journey in memory of her son to help support families with kids like AJ who were born with severe disabilities. I get to see all the kids enjoy themselves. After years of effort, she also got the city's first all-inclusive playground for kids with special needs constructed at Beardsley Park. We present you the keys to your wheelchair accessible van. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs> Eventually, News 12 Connecticut helping Isabel get a wheelchair accessible van so she could take kids with disabilities back and forth to the park and help their families get them to medical appointments. But eventually the secondhand vehicle died. Now she's trying to get a replacement van so she can get back to providing this important service. One she says bridges a critical gap in the city's transportation program. They were able to call me and I would go out, take my time out and take them to the doctors or to be there for them. Um, to guide them through certain things they don't understand. So basically, I advocate for a lot of people with special needs. Oh, oh my God. In spite of having her own disability, Isabel also used the van to deliver holiday gifts every year to kids with special needs. I've seen and watched Isabel Richardson in all of the enormously good work, so inspiring over this last decade. Senator Richard Blumenthal says he's going to look for federal dollars to try and help get the van replaced. Isabel, meantime, says she's praying for a positive outcome and accepts on faith alone that she will succeed in this effort, just as she's done in the past. God gave me the strength, just like God going to give me the strength to carry on with the rest of Aaron's journey. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut.